Hi everyone! Today I'm gonna make a maze game. I'm just gonna make three levels because that's enough to show you how to make this game. But feel free to add as many levels as you want because I'm sure you will create lovely games. So if you're ready, let's get started. As usual, let's begin deleting the cat. And I'm going to choose a sprite that could be a beetle. The first thing I'm going to do is call the beetle so that I can control it with the arrow keys. I'm going to show you a great way to do it, but there is a better way, a more professional way that you can find in my channel. And the name of the video is Smooth Movement Complex Version. So I recommend that you see it. All right, so forever, we're going to add four conditions for if blocks and they're gonna be if key down arrow pressed we're going to point in direction down 180 and we're going to move something like seven steps all right we have to repeat this with the rest of the arrow keys Okay, so this is done. Let's check if it works. Green flag. Okay, it does. If you think seven steps is not enough, you can increase this number, well, you know. And now I'm gonna make the beetle smaller. Like, I'm gonna make, make it very small. And let's go to backdrops and let, let's create the first one. Line, 10 pixels wide. And now, pressing and holding shift, we can make straight lines, as you see. So it is quite simple. And this is gonna be level one. We can create more levels. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna add another one and create level two. All right, here we have it. I'm gonna create a third backdrop. This is going to be easier, but this backdrop will, will have something special that I will tell you about later. And finally, the backdrop for people who win the game. Let's add something like this here. Okay, so let's go back to the beetle and at the beginning, when we click on green flag, we're gonna switch backdrop to backdrop one and the beetle is gonna start here. So the position of the beetle right now is this one, the one you see here. So we go to motion and we place it. Here we have it. As you see, we can go through the walls because, I mean, actually there are not walls, but lines on the screen. So we have to call the beetle so that it, can, it can't it can go through them. Two options. Option number one is this. We're going to add another condition here, everything inside the forever loop, which means that uh, this is constantly checking if uh, down arrow keys pressed, right arrow keys pressed, and also, if we are touching black color, to pick a color from the screen, use this tool. And now you click on the color you want. And here we have it. One option is going back to the beginning when we touch black color. So go to this position, which corresponds to the current position. and. When clicking here, you will see that when I touch this, I go back to the beginning. Another option is making the beetle unable to go through the walls. That takes a little bit more time, but it's something like this. If touching black color, we're gonna go back seven steps. In this case, also 
in this case, also in this case, and also in this case. And now you will see that I can't go through the walls. Some YouTubers might uh, tell you that just by putting this here, it will work. And it works if you press just one key at a time, but if you press two, it is possible to go through the walls. So that's not something I recommend because that's a kind of bag. So let's keep on coding. How are we gonna go to the next level by touching something? So let's add another object, for example, this diamond that I'm gonna place here. And we will tell the beetle that if touching crystal we're gonna go to the next backdrop and it looks fantastic I'm gonna cheat but you will see that when I touch the crystal it changes backdrop very fast why because I am constantly touching crystal so it is constantly going to the next backdrop how do I solve it very simple after going to the next backdrop, I'm gonna place the beetle at the beginning again. One option is placing the beetle here and copying this. Okay, what, that's one solution. Well, these numbers could be the same as here. And now you will see that when I touch the crystal, we go to the beginning. But another option could be telling the beetle where exactly I want it to start. Um, well, I don't think that is necessary in my game, but I'm gonna tell you the option. I could tell my beetle that when backdrop switches to backdrop number two, I want it to start, for example, here, which is this position, as you see. But when backdrop switches to number three, here, maybe I want it to start here again. So I go to the code. And I say when backdrop switches to number three, and now I pick the new position. And in number four, as it is the last one in which I have won in party, I wanna hide it. Be careful if you hide it at the beginning, you need to show it. And the same with the crystal, probably you wanna hide the crystal at the end so when backdrop switches to party, we hide it. But when backdrop switches to backdrop number one, we show it. And let's see if we want the crystal in those positions in the next in the other backdrops. For example, here, obviously not. I want it here. So the same. When backdrop to switches to number two. I'm gonna bring the crystal to this position. So motion, go to, and make sure it coincides, which means means that in backdrop number one, I want it here. So in code, apart from showing, go there. And let's see where we want the crystal number three. Bah, same position as number one. So we can duplicate this. Show is not necessary because it's gonna be shown. That one for number three. Three and one, same position, two different position. And as I told you, backdrop number three must have something special to be more difficult or different from the previous ones. So I'm gonna create a ball. Well, create, or we can pick a sprite. Could be this type of ball. I'm gonna change the costume to something purple. I'm gonna go to the state, number three. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in number three. And I'm gonna make the ball be moving from the left to the right. First of all, I don't want this ball to be visible at the beginning of my game. So when green flag clicked, it's gonna hide. But when backdrop switches to backdrop number three, the ball is gonna come to this position. So go here 
after that I'm gonna show it and the ball is gonna glide to the opposite side of the screen so motion glide there and then it's gonna come back to the initial position so glide to negative 217 4 or well 2 so that the height is all the time the same and this movement we're gonna check it is gonna be constantly repeated but obviously when backdrop switches to party we haven't done it yet we're gonna hide it and the beetle should have this as you see the ball is not black because if you make a black ball that's easier but as this ball is not black we have to add another condition here that will say if touching ball in this case we're gonna go to the beginning of the level so um, we're gonna go to yeah, this position and if everything is okay this game should work let's check it because I might have made a mistake I'm gonna cheat a little bit move it okay I'm gonna cheat again move it well I can't go through the walls as you see now the ball let's let it touch me okay that's perfect and I'll try to finish it with no hacks all right, so it works perfectly. So if I press green flag, everything is restarted again. So this is the end of the tutorial, guys. I hope you liked it. Uh, I encourage you to make as many levels as you want and to make great games. I'd like to see them. So please send me the projects when you have them done. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.